Alright, welcome to my, uh, second, uh, completing the square, the part two. Um, if you haven't watched the first one, go watch the first one because it's, uh, essential for this one. Um, because I'm not going to go through every single thing that I went through in the second, or in the first one. So, go watch that one if you haven't. If you have, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, okay, so the first thing you want to do in this one, as promised, I put a number in front of the x squared is get rid of the number in the x squared. That's what you have to do. You have to get x by itself first. So you want to divide by 2 by everything, right? So that way you get x squared by itself. x squared minus 3 halves x minus 4... Or, well, I shouldn't write that again. Minus 2. Because 4 divided by 2 is 2 and it's negative equals zero. If I sound like I'm going fast, it's just because, um, I, I just tried to make this video sec a second ago, and I, it was eleven and a half minutes, so I have to try and go faster, um, but, uh, I just tend to ramble. Okay, and then, you have this, this is basically the, the setup from the last equation now, not with the fraction, but, uh, just, like, how it looks. Um, so basically you do the same thing, you want to get this on the right side now. So you want to add 2 to the right side. Um, and I'll just go ahead and write out the, so it's x squared minus 3 half x plus, and then this is where you do the 1 half times 3 halves squared equals 2 plus 1 half times 3 halves Okay, and remember this comes from this number, and you just multiply by a half, and then square it, right here, to get the perfect trinomial, and that's the goal. Okay, and okay, so you think about it, 3 times 1 is 3, over 2 times 2 is 4, so this is 3 fourths, right, 3 fourths squared, and 3 fourths squared can be written as 3 squared over 4 squared, which is 9 over 16, because 3 squared is 9, and 4 squared is 16. So that should be pretty easy. And so that means this one is 9 sixteenths also. Um, I'm going to go over basically how also to add fractions and stuff without using a calculator. Uh, I don't think you should use a calculator, especially if you're in high school, planning on going to college. Those placement tests, the one I took at least, didn't let you use the calculator. And I wasn't aware of this until I got there. Um, and it just really sucks because this stuff isn't very hard, but I didn't know how to do it. Um, because I always use a calculator. I even took pre-cal in uh, high school, and we always use a calculator. So I suggest doing it the way I teach it and uh, not, you know, having to be dependent on your calculator. Um, but, um, okay, so this is 916, so plus... 9 sixteenths. So I'm going to show you how to add 2 to 9 sixteenths in a second. Equals, or pretty much right now, 2 plus 9 sixteenths. Okay, so first we're going to do what x, it's x plus what? Well, it's, remember, it's this number just times a half. It's not squared. So it's this number, so if I wrote a 1 here over 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 1 is 3, so it's 3 fourths. Or it's actually minus, I'm sorry. Um, messing y'all up. And because this is minus right here. It's minus right here, it's minus right here. So, 3 fourths squared, right? Because it's squared right here. Equals, okay, well, 2 plus 9 sixteenths. How do, how would we do that? Just think about it for a second. How do you think you can figure that out? Remember, 2 can be written as 2 over 1 plus 9 sixteenths. And the next step in adding these together is we have to get the same denominator. Well, this is the bigger denominator. So we're going to have to multiply this, since it's 1, we're going to multiply it by 16, so we'll have the same denominator. And then we have to multiply it also on the top by 16. And if you've already done this, 2 plus 9 sixteenths is 41 um, sixteenths. But I'm actually going to show you how to do it, or that's what I'm doing. Um, so it should be... You might even know how to do it now, just because I wrote this out. Um, so this, this right here, is basically um, 
16 times 2 is 32, and then 16 times 1 is 16, uh, plus the 9 16. And since the denominators right here are the same, you can just add a cross. So 32 plus 9 is 41 uh, sixteenths, which is the same thing as you'd get in your calculator if you type this in. Okay, so rewritten, this is x minus 3 fourths squared equals 41 sixteenths. And we're going to take the square root of both sides. Um, which should be obvious because we're uh, getting rid of squared right here. So x minus 3 fourths equals, and remember I like, uh, you know, well I like to rewrite it like this, um, but you don't have to. Uh, I, I sort of suggest it. Um, I think it's easier to, you know, because it's just broken up and stuff. So we're to 16 is 4, which coincidentally is <laughs> on the other side. So it works because we're going to combine these. Um, so we're going to take the 4 out, so it's x minus 3 fourths equals the square root of 41 over 4, hopefully I'm not, uh, okay, I'm only at 6 minutes, wow, okay, I've cut my time in half, um, okay, so we're going to add 3 fourths to both sides now, oh, I forgot, um, we're taking the square root, you have to do the plus or minus, sorry about that, I keep forgetting that. Um, like, I know it, but I just don't think to say it. Um, plus three, or plus or minus. Okay, so we're going to add three fourths to both sides. Hopefully that didn't confuse anyone. When you take the square root of something in math, you have to do the plus or minus. Or when you're, you're you know, getting rid of the squared like we are right here. We're taking the square root of both sides this term gets just basically taken out to be normal, x minus 3 fourths, and then equals the plus or minus, because we're taking the square root of one side, um, or the other side. So, x equals, how much, oh wow, I don't have any space. Okay, x equals 3 fourths plus or minus the square root of 41 over 4, and that looks like a 9, but it's 4. And then, since these are the same, we can combine these and make it all over one thing. So, x actually equals 3 plus or minus the square root of 41 over 4. That is the correct answer, and this is all you would need to be able to uh, derive the quadratic formula for uh, from x squared plus bx plus c equals zero, which I will do in the next one. That's the only reason I did the completing the squares because I felt like I should have the the essentials, the necessities needed to be able to derive it. I didn't want to just make one on deriving it if you didn't know how to complete the square, and so so I did these. But hopefully you understand this. Um, if you don't, just ask questions or whatever, and uh, I will uh, do my best to help you understand this. Alright, thank you.